Today I'm going to talk to you about GCSE Geography and give you all the information that you might need um, so that you're fully informed for when you make your GCSE option choices. So why do we love our subject? Uh, well, we love geography because it's about real places. We look at a variety of places that are very, very different. We look at why they're the way they are, what issues, what problems occur in those places. And, you know, what can we do about it? How can we help them into, into the future? You will study two sides to geography. The first side is, is physical, uh, and that's all to do with the natural world. So we look at hazards, for example, earthquakes, volcanoes, tropical storms. We then look at ecosystems like the tropical rainforest and the tundra. And finally, we look at landscapes in the UK. So we look at rivers and we look at coasts. The second part are the human topics. And that's all to do with um, urban issues. So it's about our towns and our cities, why are they the way they are, what issues, what problems might occur in those places, what can we do about it. We then look at change in the economic world, which is it's about money. So why are some countries more developed, more advanced, more wealthy than others? And um, what can we do about it? And what are the problems that occur in those less developed places? And the final topic is all about resource management. So we look at resources in the UK, water, food and energy. We then look at water globally. Why do some places have too much water? Why do some places not have enough? What problems does that create? And what can we do about it? How can we solve these problems? So we do um, two sessions of field work. We will take you to do a river study up near Clumber Park, and we also do a local study uh, here in the village. Um, there is an exam based on that, which I'll talk to you about in just a second. And then the final bit is we get a pre-release booklet. We get that 10 weeks before the final exam, and we go through it in school. And it's based on a geographical problem. In the past, there's been one on water supply and whether or not we should build a dam. So how will you be taught? Well, it's all based on real places. We call those case studies. Um, so we look at real life issues around the world in places like Lagos, in Bristol, in the Amazon and in Alaska. Um, we collect data. So we go out, we do our field work, we collect that data, we process it, we analyse it. We do a lot of work around images and maps. So looking at what they actually show, we interpret them. We complete them, we draw them, we work out what information is relevant from them. Um, we also have to draw and label diagrams. So looking at processes, what makes things the way they are, adding keywords onto that. And finally, we have to form judgments based on evidence. So make decisions. You're given the facts, you're given the good and the bad. What is your overall conclusion? There are three exams in GCSE Geography. They're all at the end of year 11. The first one is based on all the physical topics, and that's an hour and 30 minutes long. The second paper is based on all the human topics, and that's, again, an hour and 30 minutes long. And the final paper is based on the fieldwork that we've carried out and also on that pre-release booklet that we're given 10 weeks before the exam. The geography exams, they have loads of different types of questions. Some of them are one mark multiple choice, so you're given four options, and you have to work out which is the correct answer based on a graph, a map, um, an image. We then have some shorter questions that might ask you to do a calculation, so the mean, the median, the mode, work out percentages. Some questions ask you to interpret graphs, maps um, and images. And then finally, there's some extended answers, six, nine markers, which expect you to write uh, two to three developed paragraphs based on a resource or based on one of our case studies. So in terms of careers, job is great for anybody that wants to work um, to do with the environment, but also anything that's to do with collecting or interpreting data, because geography develops teamwork skills, analysis skills that help you work with lots of information, help you process it. It allows you to make connections between different, different sections, I suppose. And that's why the, a lot of employers view geography as being really, really um, If you need any more information, please feel free to pop along to the geography department.